Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy, and we're running through another house. This one's down in Brookhaven. Surprisingly, we do a lot of work down here, and one of the things that always baffles me is, you're looking at a fairly new house, beautiful home, and these builders just cut so many corners. So now, this is a second homeowner uh, who bought the house maybe a year or so ago. Had an inspection, they missed some stuff. Some stuff is just wrong. So we'll go through a bunch of things. Beautiful house, you got cedar shakes up here on the dormer, and what they don't tell you, cedar shakes are great, um, but some of these they didn't nail properly. And the other thing about cedar shakes are that you really need to restain them every probably two years on a dormer like that. Two, three years max. This one's gone probably five years. And you can see the lightness in the shakes. And so now they're going to start rotting. Uh, cedar's a great product. If you stay up on it, it'll last a gazillion years. But if you don't stay up on it, you're going to have trouble. The other issue with these dormers is you can see it more on this on the right one. If I can zero in right here. These little triangle pieces right here, can't really take a minute to focus. See all that black lines in there? Well, that's all rotted out. So we call those dog ears. And so you've got two of them on each side of, um, both these dormers have two dog ears each. Those are rotted through and need to be replaced now. Uh, most of these gutters, my crew is gonna have to look at this. See all the streaking across the fronts of these gutters? The top gutter is definitely not hung right and they hung it with spikes instead of hidden hanger screws. So it's not draining well. And what we suggested to the homeowner here is that these are four inch gutters right here and they should be sixes. This poor little gutter takes that whole half the whole load on the main house and half of this roof over the garage is dumping right here and then dumping to this porch. When you see all that streaking, see all the streaking here, it just lets you know that you've got a problem and that's all. Uh, on the right side, so both of these gutters should be upgraded to six inches on either side and, and hung with hidden hanger screws. On the right side of the garage door right here, um, this 2x10 is rotted out and I guess probably for the last inspection report when this fellow bought the house They pieced it in and that's the repair. So that all needs to be cut out nice angle cut and done properly on the left side of the house We got a little bit of rot and so we're only able to do so much of this from the ground when the boys come out or we come out uh, We'll break out the ladders and go over the rest of the house. He's got a little bit of bore bee damage up here on this left side face It just should be skimmed and touch up the paint this window right here, he's got a rotted sill board at the garage. See here? And it's just from caulk and paint. You can see how spongy this is. So this one we can't piece in a repair. We're gonna have to replace the whole sill. The sill is what the window sits on and this nose is rotted as well in the corners. I can put my fingers right through right here. Same with the brick mold here on the left and right sides, it needs to be pieced in on that first window. And then this window right here, you're not gonna be able to see it as well probably, but the left brick mold on the second window on the garage side is rotted uh, and we would probably guess that we've got some rot in this third window as well. The boys will check it when they come out. When you get around to this side back here, most of the house is in great shape, but they put the cedar shake over here on the right side of the house and the boys are going to come out today for an emergency repair and just nail it back in place. That may not hold long term, so we'll do it as a short repair just to See if we get by with it, uh, but what really needs to happen on this side over here, and you can see here some of the cedar shakes have fallen off. So whenever you saw cedar shake on a chimney like this, it should really be installed over pressure treated plywood. And the reasoning for it is that OSB, as it gets any kind of moisture to it, uh, it's, the nails are going to kind of, it's going to get soft and saturated and the nails will literally pull right out. They use the finished nail on this thing instead of a serrated nail, it would have a little more bite. And so as the wind has gripped this thing, you can see the shadows underneath. See how dark it is right here? These are pieces that are getting ready to lift off. And so the boys will come in and re-nail this. This left corner board right here is rotted. It needs to be repaired. This gutter on the right side got crimped by a tree or a ladder or something. I'm not sure what because I don't see any trees over here that have been taken down. So I don't know. They might have had another Leland Cypress come down in this area and hit this and they just didn't catch it. So we'll replace this gutter with a 6-inch gutter as well. And the rest of this, because this is cedar, he really needs to bite the bullet right now in this season. Go ahead and restain anything that's got cedar on it and just get it done. If you own this kind of a house, it's a great product. It's a good looking product, but just bear in mind that a lot of times they don't caulk. So like here, if you look at the edge of the cedar right here, you see this black line and you see the line up here all the way up through. So it's never been caulked. And because it's a dark stain, the painters and the builders cheat. They don't want to spend the time materials to caulk this stuff. And that's what's going on up there. So moisture gets in around these edges 
and then it gets to where the nails are and it literally just softens the OSB around the nail so that after a few wind shears it's pulling the siding off the house and so that's kind of what's happening here so what he really wants to do for now is just reinstall the pieces that are dropped secure what we can and then come back in and caulk this stuff up and then restain it and he'll be good to go so that's a little run through the project the things you're going to see that start costing money and, and what's happened on those other windows is you can see it right here so see where the caulk is starting to fail in this area the blackness that's the problem and you got the same thing on this side over here so we've been doing this stuff forever look for black on your house it's never a good thing unless your house is painted black it's always a failed caulk rotted wood a void a nail hole woodpecker holes whatever it might be you want to get on that stuff and fix it right away we're all over metro atlanta we've been here for 25 years i'm a fourth generation contractor we live for this stuff it's fun we're at 770-912-2829 i'm andy we'll see you at the next house bye for now